Hello and welcome back, all of my friends. Welcome back. Episode nine of Some Low Grade Gamers. As always, I am joined by the other half of Some Kind of Gaming, the lovely Laura here. Hi. How you been this week, Laura? Not bad. How have you been? Not bad. Thank I you I remember for last week you were like, nobody ever asked me. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's always time for a first you know yeah thank you appreciate that no worries <laughs> and the low grade gamer himself is here too dan how you doing good good phil spencer's also good oh yeah oh little, yeah so mr phil yeah Our how, how are you yeah. going tom how are you going you yeah Oh, look, twice in one yeah. week. Oh, I'm spoiled. This is great. Thank <laughs> you. Thanks, guys. No Thanks worries. for remembering I'm here. <laughs> Taking control of the podcast forget. means nobody asks me questions. Well, you've just been asked two in a row. Mm, yeah. The first two. You're Here welcome. We go. Lovely. <laughs> All right. Who wants to kick things off? Who's been playing something exciting this week? Well, we just got done playing Minecraft on stream for the first time. Yes, I saw that. Can you actually, okay, help me out here. Because I tried to play this game two days ago, three days ago. Oh, really? For the first time? Yes. That's funny. On a spare Xbox One that I had in the office. Yep. And after playing Minecraft for 10 minutes, the power brick blew up. Oh, oh. <laughs> died. Yep, that's unfortunate. What are the chances? I don't understand. I don't understand yeah. the game. Why are there little zombie things running around? And why can't I kill the bastards? And why do some it of them have swords? Yes, it's very much like that, isn't it? It's, I uh, required a lot of assistance. There mm-hmm. was like everybody in the chat was like, how have you not played Minecraft before, first of all? Most people were really nice about it. One person was, like, I don't know, like a little bit less forgiving, offended <laughs> that I didn't know how to play it. He's like, oh, my God. <laughs> don't know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, my God, no. you get fall damage. <laughs> <laughs> Why like, well, you don't get fall damage in every game. I just figured that out anyway. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I but yeah, it's like no you idea. can make your own sword. Yeah, it's very oh. open ended and it has no tutorial. No tutorial, yeah. yeah. So it really leaves you to figure out stuff on your own, which is yeah. cool. I, you know, sometimes tutorials can get a bit annoying. But uh, yeah, Minecraft is good. I'm sure nobody listening needs to be told that Minecraft is good because you've probably played it. It is the best-selling game in the entire world by quite a long margin. I'm not a fan. But it is good. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not a fan? Look, I mean, it's. Blew up I my think Xbox. you just need to figure it out a little bit more. Too powerful yeah. for my Xbox. Blew it up. Yeah, that's um, that's crazy. It's a shame. It's yeah. actually really weird because all We've of a sudden I heard this whirring noise, right? And I thought it was the Xbox itself. Yeah, so I put my ear next to the Xbox, trying to listen oh, for the noise. Couldn't it wasn't coming from there, and so you know you follow the cable, and it was the actual yeah, yeah. brick. So you know the power, power brick, brick. Yeah. and it was whirring like, loudly, and I was like, "What the hell is going on here? Why are these things yeah. going this crazy?" So I just had a good old knock, you know, as as you yeah. do, as you do, you still, yeah, yeah, did it. That's what you, that's what used to work with the Super Nintendos and stuff. You boom. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should be sweet. Not or the the PlayStation Two Slim in the uh, top left hand corner after you close the lid. If you push that down, so if it's not reading yep. discs properly, you just push that yep. down. That's it. Fixed. Problem fixed. I remember that. So I remember that. I did that, and then everything was fine. I was like, oh, sweet, fixed it. Sat yeah. down, kept doing a little bit of Minecraft. Boom. Little puff you blew of smoke. It up. Puff of smoke. <laughs> wow. So dramatic, isn't that it? That is funny as. Now, Dan, I don't mean to skip over what you were playing this week, but it actually leads us perfectly t- into a topic that we have planned for the podcast this week, yes. which is the death of the Xbox One. I know. Well, before you said it was going to blow up, I was like, oh, man, that's so funny because they're not making them anymore. I was like, how are you going to play Minecraft now? 
Yeah. Uh, he's got a he's got a series, so it's all good. Yeah. yeah Let's I've go actually on got two Xbox ones. Oh, oh perfect. Plus, oh, well, well, plus the Mecca. Series X. Oh, yeah. hey, Mr. Many Xboxes. <laughs> no, it was just it was just one that we had in the office. That was the one that we used to use in the office. So I was like, oh yeah, Beckle, okay. Beckle. Yeah, the Xbox One wasn't exactly the best console of all time, was it? I know you're a big Xbox fan, Dan. Would you say it was like the worst of the lot? I know the Red Ring of Death. Let's let's not forget about. I remember that that, yeah. that whole never saga. Had, never had an Xbox, but I do remember that. But a lot of Microsoft fanboys tend to agree it's the worst one, which I am not one of. So, what's your insight into that? Just on the uh, Red Ring of Death. Oh, yeah, here we go. Do you know that uh, Xbox just recently, for the anniversary of the Xbox 360, made a joke about the Red Ring of Death? Yeah, they like, they they love it. You've got to embrace it. Yeah, they really do. They got slammed, though. What? Why? It's funny. Well, I mean, it kind of destroyed a lot of people's consoles, but. Yeah. Yeah. And they refused to do much about it. So, was it like a bug or? No, basically, what happened on my brothers? Because my brothers had the Red Ring of Death. Um, the uh, it basically got that hot that the solder would melt in certain spots. Oh, well, so, they're so in- wow. Yeah, so we ended up pulling my brother's Xbox part back in the day and just tried to fix it ourselves, which worked. Oh, nice. Nice. Yes. Good job. I'm shocked it worked. But, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we resoldered it. We, we literally had no idea what we are doing. We just started pulling apart. It was broken anyway. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and then Microsoft wasn't going to fix it. Yeah, so we just started pulling apart an Xbox. Yeah, fair enough. That was it. So, yes. Um, look, is it the worst one? See, I, I'm of the opinion, and I'm not. I'm not really an Xbox fanboy. I just I play games on whatever's going. And yeah. <laughs> I, had a, I had a PlayStation 4 for a long time. Mm-hmm. I feel without a doubt the Xbox controller is more comfortable. And that's why yeah. I've slowly moved over to the Xbox. Fair it's enough. So I'm, I'm the because, opposite. Yes, yeah, you're wrong. But um, <laughs> no, look, for, for me, I just found the Xbox controller to, to yeah, just fits better in my hand, es- especially, yep. like I've said before, there's no way I'll play a game now without my Series 2 Elite controller. Like, I like the symmetry of the the joysticks, personally, on the PlayStation. And so that's you've just, got, like, you've grown up with that, so exactly. you're more used to it. Exactly, yeah, yeah. That definitely helps. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. Just grew out of love with the PlayStation controller, I guess. Um, no, that's fair. I mean, I, I'm interested to to suss out the PS5, but um, yeah, that it's a good controller. That's yeah. arguably the best controller out going yeah, around. Maybe with features, but not not usability. But anyway, let's. Uh, <laughs> mm. no, no, look, I, I I don't I don't bag on any console or anything like that you, you play what you want to play and whatever oh, suits bag on a console yeah, <laughs> i still want i still PS5. think that the kf console is the superior yes it is the superior console absolutely yes the <laughs> yeah yeah some yeah, chicken. Well, i really want some i mean one uh, I think- chicken or console? Well, both, I guess, because I think I just had a Freudian slip. <laughs> yeah. I feel right. like we need to get you one. What about if we 3D print a KFC bucket and just put some computer parts in it, see what happens? That- I think that would work. Yep. You could just get an air fryer, stick your computer on top of it, and then you, you- you're done. That's pretty much what it is. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> You'd Let's be laughing. That. That's on the list. <laughs> So um, back on the Xbox One, it yeah, was look, I wouldn't recently s- revealed. Sorry, go on. Yeah, I wouldn't My necessarily bad. say it was the worst one. I think the Xbox 360E was the worst Xbox. I think that was a piece of junk. Yep. Um, I, I would say the 
one X was a significant step up for, from the one. Um, the one S and the one X were probably more what it should have been rather yep. than what, what was brought out. I think play, well, Sony had a better model at the start. I, I think Sony's is a bit different, though, as well, because I think they really made a mistake with the PlayStation 3 launch. Uh, yes, with, where the original expensive. consoles had. Yeah, that's right. It was like a thousand well. mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah you know, it was. And they were the like size of your living room. They were that big. So, yes. they were quite large. Yes. And then Microsoft came out and made a huge bloody console. So, I, I think that was more the issue is the PlayStation 4 looked significantly yeah. better. And I think Sony lo- learned from. The mistakes of the early PlayStation Three because they they revised the PS Three fairly reasonably quickly. So yeah, they did. I think the the One S and the One X are probably what the Xbox should have been. Mm-hmm. And, and it was too late by that stage. Yeah, everyone was and on the PS Four. I, I sort of disagree with the direction now with the Series S. Series X, I think, yes. is is brilliant console. I think it's oh, it's really no, quite yeah. good. Uh, but I, I would say that. Second worst selling console will be the Series S, is my prediction. Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, the the Series S is obtainable now, which is what it has going for it. Uh, and that's, it's that's cheaper. It, the only reason it's obtainable yeah. is that nobody wants it. Yeah, yeah, no, no, one hundred percent. No, no, that's I to- I totally agree with you. But it will be interesting to see because commercially, the Xbox One did pretty bad. It is definitely not Microsoft's best-selling console at all. I think the major issue they had with the Xbox One was the marketing for it at the start. Mm. I know it was quite a while ago, but I don't know if either of you guys remember, but it was basically like, here is a home entertainment system where you can watch sports and have Foxtel on and all that kind of stuff. Oh, and it also plays games. Yeah. That was what they were going with. And... It, it didn't work. I mean, you know, fair, good on them for trying something new and like trying to go down that route. But, you know, the Xbox was their gaming system, you know, like Microsoft's got its feet in a lot of things. And um, yeah, they just, yeah, I don't know. So it was recently revealed that the Xbox One stopped production in mid-2020. So just before the series came out. So they've basically been like, no, nah, you know, this this thing was a failure. It didn't do well. We're putting all of our eggs in the series. Well, how many like people were buying the Xbox One? Any like wouldn't if you were if you didn't have an Xbox and you yep. were going to buy an Xbox, wouldn't you buy like the latest one? So that leads me into my next point. Quite an interesting point here. PlayStation, on the other hand, is going to produce one million PlayStation Fours this year. Well, yeah, because I, they can't really make as many PlayStation 5s or do the PlayStation 4s not need as many chips or something? Because I would say, I would yeah. say that's well, a the lot of, A lot of companies at the moment are reverting to older chips yep. uh, to, to get by. So uh, I think Nvidia is doing it last as well. week with the RTX. Yeah, mm. yep, exactly. So I, I think they're just doing whatever they can to put something on the shelves to be yeah, like yeah. to have something on yeah, the market. I, mean, so I, I think again, the series S is there. So Xbox doesn't need that. But yeah, PlayStation needs something. I reckon uh, I'm pretty happy. We've got our hands on a PS five, to be honest. So there's, you know, there's no doubt it's the superior console to the PS four. Uh, but I guess, you know, if you want a PlayStation, then pick up a PS four. I'm sure that I don't know prices on them. Uh, but I'm sure they're significantly cheaper and they are actually obtainable, which is nice. I think, Dan, you were going to tell us where the easiest place to get a PS5 is at the moment. Do you still have information on that? Yeah, so look, I I did a bit of research over during the week to find the best place to acquire PS5 and the Xbox Series X console. So what yes. I actually found was not necessarily the best place, but the best source of information. So 
We all know that JB Hi-Fi, Big W, the Gamesman, EB Games, all of that sort of stuff all stock the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and do so at the proper retail pricing. There are other companies that are price gouging quite horrifically online. Yes. And I'd ask our listeners or viewers to just just leave it. Just yeah. suck Don't it up and not have one until you can get one. But yes. in saying that, over the weekend, so there's there's a few Twitter accounts that I think you need to follow. And yes. set up notification bells. So this is mm-hmm. this is what I found to be the best anyway. There's PS5 Australia. Uh, PS5 stock uh, com AU, these are their Twitter handles, Australia yep. PS5. So over the weekend, and there's Xbox ones as well. So Australia XSX and then XSX Australia. So, and they're all run by the same, same people, whether it's PlayStation or Xbox. But basically, these guys have bots that scour the local web. So Australian Australian web. And as soon as something comes up, it gets a trigger. So it's all automated. These guys aren't sitting there waiting. It is automated. And as soon as something happens, it's go. Twitter notification goes out. So if you if you actually have that bell ticked on, you have a very high chance of getting one. Now I'm going to say very, very high chance because I almost purchased one. Over the weekend, oh, but oh, lovely! Didn't due to the fact that it costs money, and I yes, <laughs> money. But yeah, that's the thing. I was about one step away from finalizing my order, so that was on. So PS Five Australia notified me first. Australia oh. PS Five was second, and then PS Five Stockcom AU was third. And when I say first, second, third, I meant Bang, bang, bang. So, yeah. So within yeah. a couple of seconds or yeah. minutes of each other. Yeah. And I, I checked the yeah, Amazon link in see. about five minutes because mm-hmm. uh, it was Amazon that got stock. Clicked on it, got all the way to finalizing my cart and then pulled back. Yeah, it didn't because money. Yep. Money. Yep. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was tempted though. And yeah. That, so look. Yes, it's hard to get them, but mm-hmm. I was I literally possible. started my research Wednesday and almost had one by Saturday. So yeah. I I not that you know they're hard to you know, yes, they are hard to come by, but I don't think they are hard to come by if you're looking in the right places. Like these guys have bots <laughs> scouring the problem. web, as I said. So mm-hmm. yeah. My advice, jump onto these Twitter handles. We'll chuck them in the descriptions. Yes, we will. Yep. Jump jump onto these guys. They've already got, like I said, they've got bots. It's not just them. I'm sure. They're going, yeah. No. It's not their full-time job. And for anyone who's listening outside of Australia, I'm almost positive there is accounts for whatever country you have to yeah. be in as well. There is, There'll there be Twitter handles. Uh, yep. You'll just have to. I was looking at them probably too. a similar thing. PS5. USA or PS5 America, for example. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure that's actually it, but there will be Twitter handles for you, and that's that's your best bet. Twitter is a really good resource, and let someone else do the work for you, right? Let this bot. That's the way. Yeah, sure. let the bots go of the internet. And, and these guys, uh, I would implore you to uh, click on their Amazon link that they put through as well, because they actually earn affiliate money. Yes. Uh, through Amazon. Not, not through anybody else, uh, you know, if Big W comes up or EB Games or JB, whoever. Uh, but, you know, they are doing the work. So if when the link does come up on your phone and it is Amazon, um, at, yeah, try and click on that link for them to, you know, throw them a couple yeah. of bucks. It's not much, but at the end of the day, they, they are doing a service and they're not asking oh, for anything. So no, uh, no. I... I personally think that's the right thing to do. That's what I did and almost, almost, and I regret not pressing it now because I'm pretty (laughs) sure I sent Tom a text the next day with the PS5 controller that I want. 
Uh, yeah, the <laughs> purple, purple one. one. Yeah, that came out the day after we bought our red one, and Tom I was, was pretty upset. Yes. Yeah, he's like, damn it, I want a purple one. I was like, get one. He's like, we don't need three. We don't need three, but I want three. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I want the light blue one as well. I want there's four. There's a light blue one? Yeah, there's a sky blue as well. Ooh. See, right. You know what we need? We really need like a controller stand. So we can just look at them instead of use them. Yeah, because I don't know. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can see that like one of our boxes is all like Oh, We're running yeah. out of space in these boxes. One of them is totally full with just four controllers because, mm. like, if they were positioned vertically, yes, it would be that would be it better. Would be quite Look at all that empty space above there. I know. We right? could have at least two more controllers in there. You could probably <laughs> anyway. Fit, though. one, two, three. You probably fit at least six aside with a yeah. Group. That's I agree. what we need. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Mm, we may need to talk about this later as I may have 3D printable solutions for you guys. Ooh, I like the old 3D printable solutions. God, 3D printers are good. You can make all sorts of things in there. You really can, yes. can't you? Bodies, organs. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Clones. Yep. yep. All the, Anyways, the moral of the story before you two tangent away again. Uh, just got to drag you back in here, Dan. You just <laughs> now you know, we're come, talking about come clones. back in. Thank you. <laughs> the three D printing um, houses on Mars. Yeah. <laughs> oh. See, there you go. There he goes. Do, too late. Didn't three D print him in time. Air so that you can survive on Mars. That's yeah, that's what they're a terrible idea. Here. Actually, mm. <laughs> yeah. Moral of the story is PlayStations and Xbox Series aren't necessarily available on store shelves. But if you look and you try hard enough, you will be able to find them. You can't go out tomorrow and necessarily buy one. But as Dan said, it took him, what, three or four days? A couple three of days. days. Yeah. So yeah, there one, you go. One that thing might that be I... an incident, but, you know, it's, it's pretty good. Hmm. One thing that I'd also mention is on Mars, right, when they're 3D printing, no, I'm joking. On, um, <laughs> one thing, if you've got... Um, say money troubles and you're really desperate for one. And when I say money troubles, it is hard for a lot of people, especially right now, to drop $750 on a console plus games and all that sort of stuff. Of course. So Vodafone actually do the PlayStation 5 on a monthly plan. So they, oh, my cool. understanding is they don't make any money on top. They just, whatever the recommended retail is, is, is what it's sold for. You do need at least two postpaid services with them to uh, acquire the uh, PlayStation 5. So two mobile phones or a mobile phone at MBN. That's my understanding anyway. Clarify at your nearest Vodafone store. We have no affiliation with Vodafone whatsoever. Number two is Xbox Series X. The way to do it in Australia that's linked with Microsoft is through Telstra. So what happens is you go on a monthly plan, you get you can get the Xbox Series S today or the Xbox Series X when it when they come into stock and you also get Game Pass Ultimate with that as well. So that's that's I love what it. I did within the yep. first two weeks, I think, of the Xbox being released. And I, I got mine within a week or two. So oh, lovely. Yeah. So for me it went it went really quickly. I got it really quickly. And if you actually calculate it over two years, it is cheaper than buying oh, no. the Xbox and doing Game Pass Ultimate over, over two years. So uh, yeah, not okay. by much, but it is cheaper. Yeah. So yeah. For those who are cheap like me, that's the way to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you can't drop a whole load of money to begin with just to do the monthly payments. Yeah, yeah. that makes a hell of a lot of sense. Yeah, oh, I like, like I said, I got it really quick. And yeah. um, I, I will say with Telstra's ordering system, make sure that your the address that you are getting it sent to is the address that you are going to be at for at least six months. <laughs> Just in yes, case there's any issues idea. because they cannot, even though they say they can, they cannot change the address afterwards. Really? No. Like after it's been sent? No, no after, after you it's been ordered. Everything. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I would say it's got You're something to do Telstra. with the fact that it goes. I, I would say it's because it's to do with the deal with with Microsoft. 
because Microsoft run this same thing exclusively through their US store. So yeah, okay. I would say Telstra, it's more like a drop shipping arrangement, if yes. that makes sense. Okay. For those of you that don't know what drop shipping is, somebody orders from person A, a computer does all the work and then orders that product from uh, manufacturer B or whatever's going on. So that's how I believe the Telstra system is working because they cannot change that address. I ended up speaking to a supervisor uh, at, at one point and I said, like, I'd like to change the address. Mm-hmm. Now, it wasn't a huge deal, but I just didn't understand why I couldn't change the address. And he said, no, we yeah. definitely cannot change that address. That's Maybe get it sent to your parents' house or something. Instead. Yeah, that's what I always do if, like, I don't know if I'm going to be there. Always make it your parents' address. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, smart move, smart mm-hmm. move. Important things. All right. Well, I guess moving on, friends. Last week we promised we ran out of time last week and we promised you we would be back on the NFT train. Now, that is still a train. There is still a lot of stuff happening within the industry on the NFTs. So just quickly what an nft is let's just go over that a little bit again bugger all (laughs) (laughs) yeah Yeah. she's not wrong yeah it's a it's essentially just a a one of a kind in quotation marks uh digital copy of something so you might own the original video of Charlie bit my finger, for example, that was an NFT that was sold as one and put Charlie and his brother through college, I might add, which is really nice. Um, it is nice. Yeah. I wish that I could uh, have yes. sold it. <laughs> yeah. I wish uh, I could have sold it. This piece picture. of paper that I just wrote on for it's not even that much US. though that's not digital though yeah it's not even that that's much. A i'll take a screenshot thing. of it the whole yeah. hand yeah, i'll yeah, take a screenshot yeah, yeah. and you'll get my fingers in it too 26 yeah. grand <laughs> us six <Done>. grand <laughs> yeah so they can be anything they can be videos they can be pieces of music they can be photos or artwork or whatever uh, I've been seeing it being linked to like uh, fine art trading, like that kind of. I've been seeing a lot of similes with that recently. Mm-hmm. So essentially, you have the NFT and you don't own the copyright to that or anything. So the original person who created the artwork is able to recreate, like make copies and that kind of stuff, which is fine if it's actual physical media because, like, a copy of a Monet is not going to be the original painting, is it? No. There's never going to be another Starry Starry Night, only copies. Yes. Only prints. Yeah. There there is difference there. But with a digital file. Sorry. That's okay. But with a digital file, it's a little bit different. You can just. Control C, Control V. So Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, look, uh, can you tell we're not huge fans of NFTs here at some low grade gamers? Because because we're not basically. Uh, A lot of companies seem to be though, because it makes them moolah. Yeah, they don't have to hardly do anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't come on a solid gold USB drive. It just literally sits in your camera roll. You don't even, you're probably not even going to print it out, put it on your wall or anything. You an no, no. You get a useless email saying you got this. Yeah, Whoever is much. buying these things, I don't, I don't understand because what, what's happened is the company has gone and found whatever trainee they can and say, all right, go, go print screen um, Castlevania, just a random shot from that and uh, just chuck it up for auction. Yep. So that is essentially what's going on. There's definitely better investments. Oh, absolutely. And companies are all for it. Companies have set up, like Ubisoft has set up Ubisoft courts, which will literally be 
their NFT provider. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, GameStop in America, which is basically EA Games for uh, EA EB Games for all you Australians listening. Uh, GameStop is jumped on it straight away. Uh, uh, Dan will agree. Physical games are starting to you know fizzle out and stuff, and they don't want to be left behind. Uh, so they are straight up jumping on the NFT train. Um, e- EA, this is this is where I got EB and EA confused. EA is also all for it. Surprise, surprise. EA loves microtransactions. Huge fans. So, yes, they also like releasing the same game every year. But that's uh, that's a that's a whole different topic <laughs> to talk about. Yeah, look, they're not my favorite favorite studio of all time. I, I'm not going to lie. My least favorite thing is Sega, though. You guys know what happened with Sega? What happened with Sega? Tell us. Well, Sega originally expressed interest in it, right? Then the whole community, people like us, other YouTubers, just regular jerk-offs on Twitter, obviously expressed some uh, disinterest in it, expressed their uh, qualms, and Sega said... They basically backed down on their plans and they said if it's being perceived as a simple money-making scheme, then we're not going to do it. So everyone- What is it if not a money-making scheme? Yeah, no, it literally is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, no, 100%. No. It's not like you're selling digital games or anything that, yeah, you're receiving something. It's literally just like, you know, like screenshot here. Mm-hmm. Digital yep, games it. are the future. Mm-hmm. I am a fan of digital games. Buy digital games from me. No, but <laughs> go to buydigitalgames.com in order to buy your own digital games. <laughs> but you have a thing. Yeah, you, you have- get a game. Yeah. yeah. I, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just don't understand, and I think I made it clear last week, I don't understand how you can pay for a JPEG. No. Yeah. No, no. And no, look, it's, it's... If it was a dollar, mm-hmm. okay, whatever, yeah. dollar or two dollars, yeah. that's cool. That's that's a gimmick thing, you know. Okay, mm-hmm. but Tom, what was the price of one of those um, mm. NFTs? From just, just quickly, I, I do just want to say, Sega said they're going to go back on it and have now trademarked Sega NFT. So they've gone back on their going back on, uh, which is why I said Sega upsets me. We're not mm, going to yeah. do it, but just in case, we're going to trademark it. Here's a yeah. trademark. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, that's uh, that's not good news, I don't think. Yeah, so we did promise everyone last week we would keep you up to date with the Konami auction their 35th anniversary of castlevania auction where all they did you know mario's 35th anniversary we got a whole bunch of new games zelda's 35th anniversary we got one game and a game and watch actually which is uh very cool we own both of those things for castle Bay- yeah there it is right there if you're watching it on youtube uh if uh for sorry for Castlevania's 35th anniversary, we got a whole bunch of NFTs. Isn't that great? No new games, no nothing. Screenshots. JPEG that you can yeah. ask for. Konami made 157,000 US dollars through their 35th anniversary of Castlevania, which is 220,000 Australian dollars. In one week, four auctions of JPEGs. In the unlikely At least some event. of them were like MP3s, I don't know, but you can just rip them off the... Oh, I guess that, that's like stealing or pirating or whatever, right? But You don't own the copyright, though. $3. Isn't that the point? Well, no, the artist bucks who made MP3, it. $1 copyright. for a JPEG. That's what it should be. It's like, it's like so you can buy a Monet painting. Yeah. You don't... You own that physical, you own the painting. Yeah. But you don't own the rights to it. Monet is still able to go and reproduce it if obviously he was still around. 
Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. I thought that that was like the point is that whoever bought this JPEG, like that's their, so they're just going to make other ones and sell them for like the same amount. They're saying that they're not going but They're not to the work. originals. That's the thing, yeah. They're not yeah. the original JPEG. <laughs> they're JPEG with two in brackets. Yeah. We'll give you the PNG. Everybody else gets a JPEG. Yes, exactly. Yeah, you don't own the copyright. No, no, no. You're not allowed. You're not technically allowed to reproduce it. You can on sell it. Mm -hmm. What I want to say is in the unlikely event that one of these people hears this podcast or sees it on YouTube, right? Mm. I would love to bring them on the podcast to interview them. Yeah. Yeah. Completely non biased. Right? Like, I won't attack you, I promise. Swear. Yes, that is. Cross my heart, blah, blah, blah. But (sighs) I'd like to understand somebody's Mm -hmm. reasoning as to, like, Mm -hmm. what what are you doing? Like, what was the highest one? (laughs) Uh, uh, Are you sure you want to know? No. I want to know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's a yes and that's a no. Well, too bad because I'm going to tell you all anyway. (laughs) <laughs> the highest one, what was it called? It was a Dracula's Castle pixel art. Dracula's Castle is a very cool place in the Castlevania games. I don't know if it's worth 37000 Australian dollars, though. That's a car or a house deposit. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's like three or four cars. If that's you buy- more, that is more than my university degree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although maybe that's a, that was worth that's a just as much as a JPEG. <laughs> that's a deposit for a house, guys. That's like, yeah, that's a lot of things. That's yeah, uh, so 20, 27,000 US. 37. I would have loved to reach out to whoever bought that and be like, hey, look, like I actually took a screenshot of that picture Don't that you that. wanted, but do you want to just like pay off my student loan? And then I'll give you the screenshot. So you're just going to blackmail them for the screenshot? (laughs) (laughs) I I have a question. I I don't know how the legality of all this works. We actually don't have a screenshot in case we could actually get sued. No, we we didn't do that. I'm pretty sure. No. Yeah, we're just going to say no. You took one, though, on the last podcast to prove a point. Did you try? (laughs) So it's already been released. Yeah, I did. Uh, Did you try and right click? Yeah, I, I did. Yeah, he did and it. Did it allow you to hit save as? Yep. Yeah. See, they could even they they didn't even disable <laughs> that. <laughs> Dad is, is, is not happy. <laughs> they could have done that themselves. They could have spent twenty six thousand US on a bloody JPEG yep. that the company yep. didn't even bother restricting people from hitting right click save as. Are you serious? That's like a yep. two-second job on a website. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Dad, uh, if he, Dad's not back next week, he's uh rage quit life. Yeah. <laughs> he had a heart attack. Where, where yeah. do you people get the money from? Yeah. Uh, again, again, if somebody is listening, we would honestly love, love to hear the other side of the story. We don't understand. We don't get it. If somebody would like you. to come on and, and explain to us and help us get it, well, we are you, all ears. If you're dirty rich, I guess, like, they're just like, oh, that's like. Oh, yeah, okay. hey, if you would, if you want to come on the podcast and say I'm filthy rich, I spend my money on what I like, then hell yeah, we respect we respect that. You know, I've heard of people spending money on some other interesting choices as well. This has um, to be up there with some of the worst, though. Up there with Gamer Girl Bathwater. At least you get Gamer Girl bath water. <laughs> yeah, that's like, not just a JPEG of it. <laughs> not that I feel like you'd be able to like, like surely that has a shelf life. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's not get to Belle Delphine's bath water. That's, uh, that's all another. Uh, that's another kettle oh, of fish. Oh, isn't it? Isn't it funny? Oh, God. Just... <laughs> Oh, this is a funny conversation. There was also somebody on, I don't know if anybody follows any large YouTubers on Twitter. You probably already heard about this, but there is somebody going around screen capturing some large YouTubers logos. They have made a pretty dodgily background of 
YouTube, like a YouTube medal, and they've put the logo of the YouTubers on there, and they are now selling those as NFTs. So how does that work? Because they don't own those pictures. Mm, they own. They are the one who screenshotted it, though. So there is all kinds of weird legal. Once like gray is areas. In the public yeah. domain, it's in the public domain. There is nothing you can do about somebody take unless it's officially been copyrighted and trademarked. You've actually done work behind it to do that. If you have put something out there, whether that be like if, if you've read the terms and conditions of Facebook, you'd have a damn heart attack. Mm, yeah, once, yeah it's insane. once you've got something on Facebook as an example. That is now owned by Facebook, not by you. Instagram. No, absolutely. And yeah, uh, Instagram. check TikTok's terms and conditions, people. It's, it's uh, a lot worse. Yes. The most viewed web page in the world last year, TikTok, not Google. TikTok. I know it overtook Google. I know it's insane. Yeah, um, you're basically giving all of your information to China, which is quite interesting. Yeah, I mean, look, it's I don't know if that's worse than uh, Facebook having it, but it's just a, it's just, some, it's just something to think about. That's all. I, I uh, just, we I know people in the military, this. and they they refuse to use TikTok because it is uh, can be dangerous. Anyways, that's a that's a thing. Yeah, but I agree with you, Lori. I think there is a lot of legal gray area, and I've heard a lot of tinfoil hat that has been like it's just. It's basically the new Swiss bank accounts, you know? Is it because they've amended it? Is it because they've done something to the image that, like, makes them be able to have the right to sell it? I have no idea. You can just do anything. I could screenshot you guys right now and sell it. Yeah. As long as it's not defaming yeah. somebody, it'd be really hard to do something about. I mean, I'm not a lawyer, yeah. but yeah. I play one on TV. And yeah. I can tell you, <laughs> so my my understanding of it, because we had to look into a, a bit of this stuff and decide whether or not it was worth it for the low grade gamer brand. Yes. Uh, and I deemed that it was not worth it. And if somebody really wanted to flog the logo, flog the logo, I'd make a new one. Yes. Mm -hmm. The costs involved are astronomical, unless it is def it defamation. Yes. Yes. Yes then whatever, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. or copying you. So we yes. had the Low Grade Gamers brand copied on Instagram. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, we found out because people were trying to order through their messaging and then they would come to the website and then email us. I go, I don't know what you're talking about. Then they'd send us yeah. screenshots. I go, oh, okay. So Instagram yeah. were on that pretty quickly, uh, especially yeah. once. I advised them of what was. They are on. usually pretty good Instagram with that. Yeah. So, uh, as long as it's nothing bad, I guess it'd be really hard to do anything about. Like it'd be so. Yeah, it just cost so much money just to do, and you'd be in the courts for ages. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Messing exactly. around for literally nothing. Like, it, it does not mean it's right, though. No, 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 no. I'm no. not saying that. Like, for example, if you try to attempt to copy something of Disney, they'll sue you. They'll take oh, yeah. yeah. Well, technically, you shouldn't even have a tattoo of any Disney character because they're Unless copyrighted. Winnie the Pooh. There you go. Really? Public domain, is it? So Winnie the Pooh is now in the public domain as of last week. Disney's really? appeals got denied. And huh. as long as it is original work, as in you have created it, you can do whatever you like with Winnie the Pooh now and all his wow. friends, wow. except Tigger. I, I believe know. Tigger is barred from that. Really? Why? Oh. Tigger's my favourite. Poor Tigger's best one. Tigger came nah, after. Oh, he so was... I think Tigger's no, a few I, years I, away. But yeah. mm -hmm. when they purchased the rights, uh, they there was a period of time that they had so that that time is now lapsed so anybody is now allowed to create their own original winnie the pooh work and disney there can't do anything but to be Wait fair disney will find a flaw and why it looks like something they have done and they will yeah. see you. 
Yeah, of course. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't be going up against Disney. Yeah. But um, going back to the NFT YouTuber thing, I implore you not to buy them. That is, it's a whole new level of NFTs. At least if you are a massive Castlevania fan and you're a massive Konami fan, your money is going to Konami. Mm. If you buy these NFTs of these YouTube logos, none of that money is going to your favorite YouTuber. Please go subscribe to them. Go support them on Patreon. Go do literally do anything else but buy these NFTs of them. They have not given their permission. They don't see any money. Um, yeah. So it's just it's just not right. So I'm authorizing our viewers and listeners. You can copy and paste any NFT you want, and the money that you're going to pay, donate charity. Do that. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Do whatever you want. Unless, as long as you donate the money to charity, I'm okay with that. I give 100%. you permission. Oh, he, here's, a good, here's a good link. You know what you should do? You should go on to Games Done Quick and donate to the Prevent Cancer Fund. Anybody been watching Games Done Quick this week? I know it's, it's, it's just ended when this podcast will air, but did anyone catch any of it? I fell asleep watching the speed run of Majora's Mask last night. Lovely. I, I've been obsessed with Mass Effect Andromeda, so. So that's, been, a, that's a no? I've been indisposed. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. For those of you that don't know, GDQ is actually a biannual event. They do a GDQ, so awesome games done quick, and then they do summer games done quick in the summer of the Northern Hemisphere. So if you like us in the Southern Hemisphere, it will actually be in winter, which is quite confusing, that old uh, hemisphere thing, not going to lie. Yeah. This time game's time. coming out in spring. Uh, you mean autumn? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's a biannual event. It's basically a whole bunch of speedrunners, just speed running for 24 seven and they donate an absolute crap load of money to charity every year. I think they've donated 30 plus million over their lifetime. And when I was on it the other night, live that already passed 2 million for just this week, which is a phenomenal effort. So it's a, it's not just a great cause, but it's a really good time as well. I am not good enough at games to speed run, and I do not have enough patience. I have uh, more games to play than just sinking a thousand hours into a five hour game. But holy crap, it's impressive. Like mm-hmm. some of the stuff these people do and some of the bugs they find in these games, it's just, uh, we were talking about Uncharted last week uh, because I've, I am playing through the trilogy. And there is a speed run of Uncharted 2 they did this year on Games Done Quick. It took them an hour and a half to complete the whole second whole second game. And oh geez, some of the that game is broken, man. <laughs> like you can move around in cut scenes and everything. Like it's insane. But for people to actually come up with them and like walk through the air. Yeah, how do you find the glitches to begin with? Yep. Yep, it uh, takes a lot of hard work. You know, that's, that's, a, that's an interesting point and something that I've always thought about. Is, you know, the no clipping in Zelda, how you jump on your shield partway through the wall or something like that yep. and blah, 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 and you float through the wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who worked that out? Yeah. yeah. So I don't, I think it's a combination of people just like trial and error. Is a big one. Trial and Through. error. Like what? how many random things do you yes. have to do before you find some <laughs> random thing that works? Surely it must be like an accident. And scouring code. Yeah. 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 Maybe accidents or scouring code. Because like trial and error, like, oh. I'm almost saying it's a combination of the two. So a bunch of clips and uh, like. You know, ways to do things quicker do arise from just somebody being like, oh, oh, look at that. I can clip through this wall here. If but you a are bunch a speed of them, runner, let us know and jump on the podcast. Yeah, mm. there is a lot of awesome discords for speed running. If anybody's interested in doing it 
for themselves. And the best thing, arguably the best thing about GDQ, apart from them, you know, donating to charity, is that it is just an extremely welcoming community of people. There is not one bad egg on there. It is an extremely safe space. There is absolutely no hate. It's so full of love. People support you. The best speedrunners in the world who have world records want you to beat it. It's not about having that gold medal. It's about you know, getting other people into it and mm. having like sharing love, you know, sharing the fun that they've had. Uh, the, the guy who was speed running Uncharted last night, I'm so sorry, I can't remember his name. Uh, he'd been doing it for seven years. Wow. Yeah. And he has released several YouTube videos on how to do it. He wants to share his information. He doesn't just want, he doesn't want to be the speedrunner. He wants to be part of a community of speedrunners. Mm-hmm. And that's, yeah, that's how it should be. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. It is, yeah, it is, it is a really nice safe space. And yeah, if you, if you feel a bit, if you feel like gaming culture can be a bit toxic, which, which it can be. We've talked about this on the podcast before. Uh, Apex and Fortnite, um, a lot of a lot of those games can get super toxic. Maybe, maybe just try watching some speedrunners on on Twitch or something. It's yeah, it's fantastic. So GDQ, good job to you. How do we be hosts of it next year? That would be an absolute dream come true. But uh, yeah, thank thank you for everything you did, and I'm. Um, Sure, uh, can- it's not the Cancer Council, but it's the Cancer Prevention It's a Prevent Center. Cancer Foundation. Or something. Yeah, the Prevent Cancer Foundation. I'm sure they're extremely grateful for the two plus million dollars. That Massive respect. People, people like, huge oh, respect oh, goes oh. out for that number. It's, an, it's insane. It is absolutely insane. And um, yeah, so if you, again, instead of buying an NFT, yeah, maybe you should just Jump on there. For you still do have time. So for the whole month of January, all subs and bits on Twitch go to the Prevent Cancer, Prevent Cancer Foundation or whatever it is. So just because Games Done Quick is over and the week is over, you can still go over and give some subs or give some bits to their Twitch account and everything after tax will go towards the... Uh, I thought you meant if you subscribe or send bits to anybody at the moment, it was going to there. I was going to say... No, 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 just the game's done quick. No, no, no. How is that going? No, no, no. No, no, absolutely not. No, no, just just game's done. Judy, if if they want some uh, hosts, uh, I've got you covered. Uh, All all three of us can do that, no problem. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think it would be... I would love to do that. That would be epic. It would, yeah, honestly. It is, yeah. So cool. Um, I would be willing to fly out to the States if they're ever going to have an in-person one again. But if not, hey, it makes our life even easier. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it in space. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do <laughs> the late Mars. bracket because it's going to be a pretty accessible time for us over here. <laughs> Once we 3D print some air, then we'll do it from Mars. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> you guys and your 3D printing. <laughs> oh, funny as. Yeah, so, yeah, GDQ, big mm-hmm. shout out. Thank you. Thank you for everything you do. I think we only have one last point of call for mm-hmm. this podcast. I think so too. <laughs> Go on, someone else take over. Um, I don't know anything about Call of Duty, so I'm not the best person to Not the best ask. person to ask? Okay. Didn't Dan, even know you, about it. Do you have Call of Duty Vanguard? Um, I have not liked any of the Call of Duties since Modern Warfare. I don't like the direction that it has gone. Wait, and since the original Modern Warfare or since the Modern Warfare series? No, the, the later one. Um, yeah, because Modern Warfare 2 one. was like classic. Yeah, yes. Yeah, the, no, the newest one. Okay, uh, yep, yep. Black Ops was not very good in my opinion and Vanguard is also rubbish. Yep. Have you played it? Big note, though, I stopped playing Call of Duty 
because of the whole Activision debacle. So I haven't really been keeping up to date. I feel until that is resolved, I'm, I'm just not 100% comfortable uh, jumping into those games and would sort of prefer to play Halo. Yeah, mm. no, totally. Yeah, I, so I've been uh, playing a lot of Forza. I've got 160 hours. I agree. It's, it's not a bad thing to boycott a company. If you feel, yeah, if you feel like they've done wrong, then I, I totally respect that decision. Yeah, I, I think I think they've really, they're, they're worried that it's it's due to the gameplay and they're bringing out a new one and, and you know, all, all this rubbish. Your problems are not going to fix themselves. You need to, as a company, you've got to stand up, admit your mm-hmm. fault, rather then what they were doing is placing blame and then yeah. saying people are, are too soft and all this other rubbish, right? Mm-hmm. You know, look, occasionally, yes, we do have some people that take things to heart a little bit easier than others. I get yeah. that. That's not of what course. happened. Okay? No. No. Blanket, there that's are not some what happened. Heinous assaults going on. Yes. And- bullying and all the rest of it at just, Activision. Just not cool. So to come out oh. and basically ignore that fact, your sales mm-hmm. are crap for that yep. reason. Not not because your game is rubbish, even though it is. Bring yes. out another game sooner, because a lot of people don't like the old school war stuff, right? Yeah, because Vanguard is a World War II yeah. setting, isn't it? Which yep. for me doesn't make any sense. We can use most of those guns in Australia. You play yep. a game to use stuff that you can't use. Yeah, mm-hmm. yep, fair enough. I'm I'm not a huge first person shooter fan as it is. I have played modern warfare's black ops, all that jazz. It's just not not for me. So I was never going to get Vanguard. Um, having said that, Halo looks really cool, and that is something I am interested in, and not just because Dan absolutely loves it. Uh, but yeah, World War II, especially, it's just like, yeah, we've had that, haven't we? We've like it's been done before. Yeah, I, I think I, I think it's it's partly d- due to the fact that the company is, has not really taken ownership for anything, and yeah. yeah. I, it's probably too late, even if they do. I yep. think. Yeah, I, I think it's that ship has sailed for sure. Yeah, they've been plastered as the bad guy. You've done it to yourself. Without, Definitely. if you had come out and gone, we're making sweeping changes. I've done this. I've done this. Blah blah blah, and then resigned. Right as yeah. the CEO, because I, it was it was under them. Now, this is a this is another point I'm going to make, which I'm going on a tangent again. No, Brian okay. Hartzer, who was the CEO of Westpac. Okay. okay. Which is a bank over here in Australia. Maybe the elsewhere. Bank over here in Australia, in New Zealand, and in China. There you go. He has, was forced to resign due to the fact that the bank wasn't correctly notifying the regulators uh, about funds that were over $10,000 that were deposited in and out of bank accounts. Okay. So every time you deposit or withdraw $10,000, it gets notified to a regulator immediately. Yep. Doesn't matter what yep. you do, it's going to get regu- it's it has to. Even if you yep. do 9999, they're, they're not stupid. That gets reported. Yeah. Okay? yeah. <laughs> People used to think it didn't. It, it gets reported too. Yeah, it does, yeah. So what was happening is Westpac got done for not reporting these things on certain cases, right? So certain mm-hmm. ones flew under the radar and turned out to be a child sex trafficking ring, okay? Oh, oh my God. Jesus. Yeah, wow. wasn't good. Took wasn't a turn. Good. That escalated now, quickly. Good old Brian wasn't actually there when the system was originally implemented that is meant to catch these things. Okay. Mm. As far as I am concerned, it is not his fault. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm going somewhere here. Yet yeah, he took up, he stood up, took ownership, 
Mm-hmm. And yes, there was a lot of public backlash, but he still resigned because he felt that was the best thing to do. Yeah, he has a conscience. Well, yeah. that's what happens when you're like, it's with like, even on like a smaller scale, if you are like managing, I don't know, a team and one of them like does something wrong, like you as the boss have to like take responsibility. That's like your role as a boss. Yes, yeah. do something about it. And and I'm not saying just because if somebody does X, you know, somebody commits sexual harassment or whatever that may be towards another employee, you don't just have to quit. No, (laughs) That's that's not your fault as the boss. What your fault is and what the CEO of Activision's fault and the head of HR especially, Mm -hmm. considering what they're meant to be doing. It's literally their job. Yeah. Is it time? I haven't heard of one HR that actually does their job properly, though. Well, you should see Westpac. Yeah. On the other end of the spectrum then. So, like, as in they're quite on it. All right. They're good. Mm. Okay, that's good. Not bad (laughs) mouthing a a bank here. So, but the fact that the Activision CEO, head of HR, and the other bananas came out and said, Eh. Yeah, no, Whatever. exactly. Yeah. Oh. That's well, the, even, that's even the, there was um, a female uh, leader within Activision. Yeah. I can't remember if she was HR or not, but she wrote something that was so disgusting on Twitter that she was... She ended up having to be resigned. She she was forced to be resigned. Yep. So, but it's like, what what is going through these people's heads? Now, I know I've gone on tangent again, but what is going through people's heads where they think it's acceptable to get away with it and not actually take ownership of it as a company? And then you wonder why your brand's not doing well. You wonder why your sales are down. Your sales are mm-hmm. down because you're moronic and you don't mm-hmm. care. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. When you stand with, like, this is legit what happened. When you stand with the board over the victims, mm-hmm. then people aren't going to be happy, man. Especially coming off the back of what we've just been talking about with GDQ being this, like, really nice, safe, welcoming space and community. Like, those people play games, man. Like, you, okay, there's the toxic toxic people and, and they exist and, you know, safeguarding and all the Laura cops at all the time being a female gamer. Oh, you don't play COD. You don't play games then. Oh, you know? gatekeeping, yeah. yeah. They exist and they will probably continue to buy your moronic products. But the vast majority of people have a conscience and... <laughs> mm-hmm. And okay, look, so, some of them might say, oh, you know, I'm a COD fan. I'm, I'm going to buy it anyway. And that's okay. I'm not condemning you yeah, for, no, not condemning. For, for not boycotting them. But you're going to see a hell of a lot of people become disinterested with you as a company, as a brand, and as a franchise such as Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. I used to play Warzone at least three or four times a week yep. with... 10 people, 15 people, right? Because yep. most of the time we played Modern Warfare when we had the bigger groups, when we had the smaller cool. groups, we played Warzone. We'd pay for the season passes. We paid for Modern Warfare, blah, blah, blah. That number has now dropped down to just two people as far as wow. I know. They yeah. still play that game. Now, there you go. I, look, I, honestly, I would love to jump on Warzone again. Yeah. I, I I enjoyed playing Warzone, uh, but I just I just don't feel it's right for me. No, yeah, yeah. you can't consciously do. Don't want to support it. Yeah, no. like, I'm just I just don't I don't want to look. Will I jump on and play a round of Warzone again one day? Probably, right? Yeah, um, you know I, I do I do really want to play it. Will I give them any money? No. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. yeah. That, and that's a big difference as well. Yeah. Well, like purchasing a new game, like actively investing in 
So and I've, then, I've got the season yeah. pass of Destiny 2. I've got the season pass of Halo Infinite. I've got the season pass of Apex Legends. Mm-hmm. That's you don't need Warzone. Passes. So... You don't. <laughs> yeah, that's too many already. <laughs> You're going to yeah. be busy but all season. The problem season. is, because of the war zone fracturing, if you'd yeah. like to call it, my gaming groups have gone across multiple games now. Yeah. So I've got some that I enjoy playing with who are over here in Halo Land. I've got some who are playing Apex. And then personally, I enjoy Destiny 2, which I've mentioned a few times. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. For me, it makes it a little bit harder. Now, the Destiny 2 seasons are quite long as well. They're like six months. So for me, it's actually caused a massive fracture of, Mm. okay, well, do I play with this group tonight or do I play with this group tonight? What game do I prefer? Now, Looking on the bright side, though, you get to play so many more games. Yes, that's, that's true. But, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Warzone is just... Uh, and Activision have just completely killed their brand, even from yep. yeah, some of sucks. my mates who really don't care. Mm. And when I say don't care, they think it's bad, blah, 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 but it doesn't affect them, so they prefer to play the game. Even mm-hmm. they have stopped yeah. because of what's well, happened around them. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. well, that's the thing. It's like a domino effect, isn't it? Yeah. If you stop playing because because Activision is a pack of idiots, then we stop playing because you've stopped playing and we don't have anyone to play with anymore. And then, you know, our friends are going to stop playing because we've stopped playing. And it just it just dominoes over, doesn't it? We used I to think- have a Facebook messenger group that I swear would get 30 to 40 messages a day. Yeah, there you go. Right. It could have been yep. screenshots from it or... You know, small clips because you can clip really easy now on on the Xbox and the PS5 versus Mm -hmm. what you could do before. So you could make those clips so easily and quickly that, you know, we'd see those clips jump on on Facebook. And that's mainly because Discord has an eight megabit, megabyte limit. That's rubbish. Get rid of that, please. Upgrade that. So I agree. Tangent. But yeah, that's. For for us, that's what's happened. So, I, I yeah, that, that's that's a lot. Like it, that group has gone down to maybe one message a week. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm sorry that that's happened to you, but it is like good on you for taking that that stance, and good on your friends for. You know, okay, I might have fractured the friend group a bit, but it ain't nothing like what happened to some of these employees. I'm yeah. sure their yeah. their entire psyche has been fractured. So yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, no. So I wonder if they're even going to notice any difference, like bringing Call of Duty 2022 early. Is it still going to like tank just as bad as It's going to be full of bugs. They're useless uh, at the best yeah. of times. Yeah. Oh, man, it's going to be Cyberpunk 2.0. Yeah. Yes. I'm hoping it is so then people stop talking about Cyberpunk. But bloody hell, fix Roland. He's still not there. Oh. He's still not so yeah. I check every I check every week. I'm disappointed. He's, <laughs> He's well, still not there. Yeah, I just don't, would give up. Don't you're so right. Yeah. Don't push a game because I would way rather wait for a game and have a game that I can play than have it pushed out and have like a piece of crap that's gonna make me re- always remember the fact that oh wow, play. that's such a piece of crap. Mm-hmm. Even if a, a year later Roland does turn up and you finish the game and maybe the rest of the game is really great. But the only thing that you're going to remember, Dan, is Roland. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've never absolutely. remembered an NPC's name before in my damn life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Especially one as insignificant as the owner of a butcher. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> and now I, I can't. I've- Got the game and I yeah. freaking know his I've never name. The guy and I know his name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Didn't yeah, Battlefield that's true. just I... have something in the news? Pardon? Hmm? Battlefield 2042. Yeah, same thing's happening, isn't it? Same thing is happening from I I, I haven't caught the article yeah. yet. But no, neither. From my understanding, is that's being pulled from or refunded? Wow. Wow. So I don't know which 
uh, channel that's actually being refunded from, but I know that's happening. I've got a feeling it's something to do with PlayStation. So it could be yeah, the Sony store that's... Yeah, pretty good with it. Yeah, so it could be the Sony store that that's first, doing it. One good thing to, to come out of Sony just recently, FYI, yeah. God of War is now available on Steam. Yeah, yeah that's, that's really a... Cool. It seems to be a bit of a controversial move for some people, which is no, bloody I think, good. Think, no, yeah, I, I think agree. it's good yeah, too. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. People are like, oh, it's a four-year, four-year-old game that they're still uh, selling at full price. Get oh, over it, dude. I mean, have you seen the price of twenty-year-old games recently? Like, they're way uh, more expensive. Yeah, I guess. I well, don't have a problem paying full price for a full game. Exactly. I have a problem playing game. full a, price a, for a JPEG. It's a damn fine game. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. If you can spend thirty thousand dollars on a JPEG, you can spend sixty or eighty dollars or whatever it is on God of War. Yeah, sixty-eight dollars from iDigitalGames.com. Brilliant store. Go to iDigitalGames.com. Cheaper yeah. than Steam. Don't get me wrong. Get the Steam Don't version cheaper than Steam. Oh, there name. you go. There you nice. go. iDigital Games. Nice little plug there. Uh, yeah, by all means, don't buy it again if you've already got it. Like, no, no, but for those that don't yeah, have don't a PlayStation. Yeah, exactly. I bought yeah, it. If you don't have one. Yeah, yeah. January 14th it's- it came out, and I, I bought yeah. it. And uh, that at the moment, it's the biggest selling game on the website. People are going gangbusters over God of War. So there's clearly... There's, there's, there's clearly a market. market for it. Between, Absolutely. Between I Jedi played- Fallen Order and... Yeah. Uh, God of War. So at the moment, uh, this is another selfless plug, but at the moment we've got Jedi Fallen Order for like 66 cents, right? Australia. Oh, high. Yeah. So now if you do have a Prime uh, video, like Prime Gaming or v- what is it called? Just Prime, Amazon, Amazon. Prime. Yeah. If you have Amazon yeah. Prime, at the moment you can get the game for free until Feb, right? Oh, so that's, that's available. But at the same time, if you don't have it and you want to get the game instead of paying $7 to get the game through Prime by getting a Prime membership, get it from me, $0.66. Cents. Actually, 62 now yeah. went down. So It's cheaper. Yeah, and it's a good game. But between that and God of War, which, again, we have cheaper than Steam and it is the Steam version, download it on Steam through with a Steam key. We've got download tutorials for all of that. You're welcome. No, I'll stop with the plug. But I think it's fantastic that Sony are finally really starting to go a little bit cross-platform because they've been... Yeah, They they have been really against cross-platform in the past. Out of the two, out of the three gaming companies, we'll call it three. Yeah, three majors. Yeah. Out, out of those three, X, that Microsoft and Nintendo seem to work really well together. Absolutely, they do. Yeah, Banjo Kazooie releasing on the Nintendo Switch, yep. potentially um, 007. Or, I'm I'm almost positive games. that's coming. The Ori games as well. That's an Xbox Studios game. Yes, for for Sony to finally stand up and release it on Steam, I think it's fantastic. Yep. Good job. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Oh, Steve in Minecraft uh, from Minecraft and Smash Brothers. Oh, yeah. That was a big one. Yep. That was a huge no. one. Minecraft, no yep. good. <laughs> Just because it killed your old terrible Xbox. I yeah, lost I everything that I had like three times. It was like pretty disappointing. I spent ages making this beautiful garden and then this like bomb guy just like blew it up. So rude. So rude. So rude. <laughs> you know what would be now? I'm going on tangent again. But I'm, I'm going to take us back a minute and a half. Yeah. Actually, I've been speaking. I'm taking us back 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Just not so much on the Activision stuff, but on the stuff behind it. I, I think what we should do is get a couple more young ladies on here, streamers or content creators, yeah. and let you guys have a talk if that makes sense. Find out exactly what's happening from your point of view to you guys when you do stream. Yeah. Or when mm-hmm. you do How content is the girls in the industry? Because, I mean, we've got a couple of affiliates that I'm sure 
uh, would be happy to, to jump on. I've got a very good friend of mine, Insanity Secure, who she cops it a lot. She yeah. has appeared on the podcast before. Don't don't yeah, forget to go check out episode she was six or seven. Yep. Six, I think, maybe. Yep. So just listen to them both. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think that would be a good podcast to do is on on you guys and uh, that's uh, has come into my brain. Very good. We brain. should do that. No, no, no. Um, definitely, we can. Uh, we know quite a few uh, ladies. Not even, I was going to say young ladies, but not even uh, who yeah cop it quite often. But uh, good on them for you know continuing and. Yeah, I, I just think it's something that, positive that change. Needs to have more of a light shined on it because yeah. it's, it's like some of the comments that you see in tw- on Twitch or YouTube or whatever, it's just like seriously. It sucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's what is wrong with you? I mean, I think Laura would probably copper a little bit less because Tom's here. Yeah, yeah. That's my yeah, only. I agree. That's my mm-hmm. only thought. Is is Tom's right there all the time? Yeah, I don't cop it on Twitch or anything. Usually, I cop it on Instagram. Yeah, that's that's what I was going to say. Your your Instagram is is like because you do some awesome pictures and thank you and really highlight gaming really well. I think thanks, man. Especially the gamer two hours. What's that? Nature Gamer with two R's, N A T U R R Gamer. If you yes. are interested in checking out Laura's, yeah, no, Instagram. definitely, definitely check out her Instagram because I, I reckon it's really, really cool. I think, yeah, it's pretty. I liked the, uh, I especially like the cat with the little control. I thought that was cool. Yeah, he's <laughs> cool. I like him. So he's out. Our- you know, just doing all that, you could clearly see that you, that you will cop it. Mm-hmm. And that's bad though. Yeah. Just, oh, just yeah, yeah. me sitting there thinking, you know, she's gonna she's gonna cop it from this. And that's only because yeah. of a comment that Tom made a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if it was on podcast or off podcast. No, it was when we were speaking to Insanity, actually. Something yeah. came up. And then ever since then, I've thought, you know, every time I sort of see something go. I guarantee you something's going to happen. And then you see something. I was watching a streamer the other day and somebody was just really weird in the in the chat. Mm. Like There's really, some weird, weird people out there. Really. Yeah, they can't be held accountable. Like there's no face-to-face interaction. I think we were saying, again, I don't know if this was on podcasts or not, but, you know, if, if somebody was to say some of those things in real life, you know, you'd, you'd expect a... Slap in the face. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, some kind of consequences, you know, mm-hmm. uh, or even a even a dial of the emergency services kind of thing, you know. Uh, I'll call the freaking police on you because you're a disgusting, creepy little man <laughs> sitting in your mum's basement. Exactly. Yeah, but when it doesn't know how to talk to girls, keyboard warrior stuff. It's um, yeah, it's yes, really it's interesting. It's really yeah. disconcerting, especially, yeah, I was literally sitting there going, there's like 20 yeah. people in this chat and yeah. you are being so weird. How yeah, do you dude, understand yeah. how weird you are? Yeah, we, were do- we were, had a similar experience the other day. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to have like, a go at people yeah. either, by we the way. We were calling them out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's important to call people out on their strange behavior. Well, you've got to, like, yeah. stick up for the yeah. – Girl, sometimes, you know, like, well, me and Tom were watching this stream, like he was watching it on the computer and I was watching it on my phone and we were both just like, you need to stop, man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, stop being so creepy. It's okay to be weird. It's the it's the creepiness. Creepy and, weird. Uh, yeah, well, creep- I mean, all the best people are weird, yeah. but creepy, yeah. I'm not sure if that's the best trait. Yeah, yeah it's, just, it's, it's just like it, if you sit there and you, quin- and you cringe at a Twitch chat comment, or YouTube or whatever it is. That's that's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's not on. No, no, not at all. Not and at I, all. I'm I'm not the biggest soft, you know, or you know, like I, I got a thick skin. I I don't yeah. I mean if you said anything don't about me, I don't care. nothing phases me. But yeah. 
even watching some of this stuff, even I'm sitting there going, oh. Yeah, yeah. this isn't okay. Yeah, yeah, I agree. What's wrong with you? And then it's yeah. like, uh, <laughs> what's my position here? Yeah, exactly. So what? No, no, mate. What as, and I think we'll get more into this part next time mm-hmm. once we actually do this um, bigger podcast. But what are we expected to do as viewers? And I'm not saying as men or women or blah, blah. It's, let's remove the uh, men versus women thing or redder. whatever whatever you are away from this. What is somebody sitting in the chat, what do you want them to do? I think. Not you. No. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> classic <laughs> man's playing once again. <laughs> Laura, go on then. Well, like when I was witnessing it the other day, I was like, well, you've just got to put them in their place and be like, dude, stop it. Who? Stop. The person who's being weird. No, no, no. But who to puts know that being place? weird. That's what I want to know. As a as Anybody a viewer, feels like it's wrong because, like, if it was me and I was streaming alone and someone was being totally strange and asking all sorts of like awkward questions, um, like I would want to tell them that it's weird. But sometimes, as the streamer, you never want to make anything like you don't want your stream to be negative, so you yeah. can't get angry or whatever. Like you don't want to make it a bad place for everybody else to be. So I was like. I'm going to tell this guy. And that's what, like, I would want. Like, well, this girl didn't have any moderators on her stream. And that's, like, a pretty important part, especially if, like, I feel like you're a girl streaming by yourself. If you have some moderators and people that you trust to um, put people in their place or maybe you need to give them a timeout or something. Hmm. But she didn't have any moderators. So I told him he was being weird. Because as yeah, as the streamer, you don't want to just like be telling somebody off and lecturing someone for the whole time, even though because probably everybody else in the chat is already thinking it. But we kind of just like and Tom did as well. Like he told he he told him that he was being weird, and then he stopped after that. Yeah, well, I, I think you need to, Tom. I'll let yeah, you, you have to, now. or else what? Like the stream is going to be feeling really weird and awkward, and everybody in the chat's going to be feeling weird and awkward. You should never stand by and let something happen that you feel like isn't right. Yeah, that, that's why accessory to murder is um, is a crime because you can't just watch it happen and do nothing mm. and not report it. Like, you know, I, I, that's a very extreme example, obviously, but it's it's essentially the same thing. You know, like you can't, you need to call people out on their BS. Yeah. No matter who you are or where you are. And I've seen it. I've seen it happen in real life too many times. You know, like, you know, something's. How often do you hear about? You know, this person got beaten up, or you know, someone got king hit in a fight, and there was you know, tens, tens of people who've just walked past and not done anything. You know, mm-hmm. or there's a homeless person on the street who is, you know, near near death, and the people are just walking past and having just don't want to know about it. So I, that's it's not right. Yeah, that's and all, then that's it's going to make the streamer feel safe as safer as well. That like people have your back because sometimes when you're playing a game, you don't like get to unless you're like just chatting. But sometimes you're playing a game, you don't get to see the weird things, and then mm. you know it's nice to like have people stick up for you. Don't just choose a moderator out of the blue, though. That's yeah, important. you've got to trust your moderator too. But yeah. that's a, yeah, that's a whole nother. We'll save that for the next one, but there, I know two instances where it's the moderator is weird. <laughs> well, yeah, some I, people I think, aren't what they seem to be. Mm-hmm. I yes. think people need to be more uh, need to feel better about using the ban stick. Mm-hmm. Yes, just <laughs> ban people. Yeah, exactly. Like I used to stream by myself before um like tom was streaming with me and i banned like quite a number of like people mm. like maybe three three or four people just ban them yeah if they're gonna be weird i don't want to deal with it 
Nah, I'm not going to give you, like, I would give people, like, a couple chances, like, I don't know, maybe, sl- like, stop being weird or whatever, or then just, like, try and ignore what they're saying. But you can't just be ignoring what they're saying because it's making everybody else feel uncomfortable. Just ban them. Ban them. And then, oh, it's like a weight's lifted off your shoulders. I don't, yeah, you I don't be. have two shits about banning people. No, 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 no. Better off without them. Get rid of them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if, you, if you're... If you're going to grow your community, you want to actually grow your community and not just have a bunch of creeps in it, do you? No, because if people, like, they've probably got creepy friends and then they're going to be like, this girl lets you be creepy, come be see creepy. her stream. And then all of a sudden it's just all creeps and you've got to start over again. Yeah. Imagine that. No. That's like worst case scenario, but. Got, yeah, like, but a, if you like notice somebody school. being real strange in like a girl's stream, I don't think that there's anything wrong with telling them to stop being weird. Obviously, not in a really aggressive way, like go about it in a nice ish way. And if the streamer herself is like, doesn't like it, then she'll say, Yeah, mm. exactly. But I feel like most of them wouldn't mind somebody sticking up for them, especially if it's blatantly obvious that like somebody's being real strange. Mm. No, I agree with that. I yeah. think, yeah, that, that's great advice. Great advice. And stick up for your friends. That is a beautiful way to end this week's podcast, isn't it? Yeah. Stick up for your friends, everybody. Uh, make sure you tune in in the next couple of weeks when we do go into this subject a little bit further. Uh, Dan and I will most likely be taking a little bit more of a back seat on that one. Uh, which would be fun. It'd be quite nice, actually. I think I think it'll be really interesting to just uh, sit back and listen to some different perspectives on it. To be honest, because yeah, men can be dicks sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> look after your friends. That's what we're finishing yeah. it on. Look after your friends. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, everybody, for listening to this podcast once again. Hopefully, we didn't go on too many tangents or, you know, talk about too many boring things. (laughs) We appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. I am Tom. You can find me through some kind of gaming on YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, any of that, just slash some kind of gaming. Well, me too. (laughs) <laughs> We're kind of a package deal. Yeah. Apart from you can find just me on Instagram at Nature Gamer with two R's and no E. Mm-hmm. And Dan? Uh, I Digital Games. That's it. That's Twitter, Instagram, et cetera. Uh, or just hit us up, idigitalgames.com. We've got live chat, email, landline support, international numbers can call in as well. Beautiful. Yeah, they, they're some really good deals. Again, go buy God of War for PC. They're the cheapest price you will likely to find it. All right. Nice little plug. See you next week. See you next week. Hey, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.